What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four, are set to hit the MCU in a brand new reboot in less than two years now. Kevin Feige announced the Fantastic Four reboot four years ago now, and since then, we have learned very little about what Marvel Studios has planned for this new Fantastic Four film. We know a little bit about the plot, which we'll talk about in this video, but what everybody really wants to know is who are the actors that are going going to be playing the cast of the Fantastic Four members. We'll break down what we know today as well as these plot details that we know, basically telling you everything you need to know about the current state of the Fantastic Four film. And thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video, more on them in a bit. Trust me, I know, we have heard so many rumors about who the potential Fantastic Four cast could be, from Margot Robbie to Adam Driver to Seth Rogen as The Thing. Well, right now, as it stands, it looks like we probably have our Sue Storm. However, although it was reported that Adam Driver was supposedly locked in to play Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four, Reed Richards, aka the smartest man alive, it is looking like that is not the case. Actually, it's looking like he passed on it some time ago, and we apparently know the reason why. And I gotta say, I think... Adam Driver for this. I think Adam Driver is a pretty talented actor. I like him as Kylo Ren, and I like him in other movies that he's been in. But after hearing why he turned down the role of Mr. Fantastic, I think I like him a little bit more. Rumors about Adam Driver playing Mr. Fantastic have been going on for quite some time now, and up until recently, a lot of insiders were stating that it was pretty much locked in that Adam Driver was going to play Reed Richards. He was our Mr. Fantastic of the MCU. However, recently, a lot of insiders came out and stated that they heard Adam Driver actually passed on the role. Some say that it is still possible that he is open to playing Mr. Fantastic if everything is right. However, some new information tells us that he is probably done. According to insider Jeff Snyder on the Hot Mike podcast, he said that Adam Driver did receive the script, or part of it at least, for the Fantastic Four film to see if he was interested in playing Mr. Fantastic. Marvel Studios did want him for the role. However, he turned it down. According to Jeff Snyder, he read the script, but turned it down because he couldn't connect with the character. And trust me, I have read the comments. I have read the comments of a lot of people stating that they just cannot see Adam Driver as their Mr. Fantastic. They can't see him visually as Mr. Fantastic. He doesn't have the proper look to play Reed Richards, but also they can't really see his personality behaving like Reed Richards would. And I was definitely willing to give him a chance because again, I think he's a talented actor, but I'm kind of with that group as well. He is not who I picture when I picture Reed Richards. I actually still picture John Krasinski. I think he was kind of a perfect casting there, but it's pretty clear at this point in time that that was a one-off thing. John Krasinski is not going to be our Reed Richards, and apparently neither is Adam Driver, and I respect him for this because this is a massive role. This is going to be one of the biggest characters of all time. Most people would jump at the opportunity to play Mr. Fantastic in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is basically like becoming the next Iron Man. So the fact that he turned this down is very respectful of him, since he couldn't connect with the character and probably couldn't do the character justice since he couldn't connect. Plus, he doesn't need it. He's Kylo Ren. He's got plenty of fame. He's got a lot of movie offers. He's not struggling for work by any means whatsoever. So that's really nice that he was in the position to actually decline the role. And apparently he declined pretty early on quite some time ago. However, if Marvel Studios wants you to play a role, they probably don't give up too easily, which is probably why we've heard all these rumors of him playing Mr. Fantastic up until pretty recently. So kudos to him. But I do have to say, I do love who is reportedly going to be playing Sue Storm, and I do love a lot of things about the little that we do know about the plot. We'll break it down in just a bit. But first, big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Many of you may know that I personally use HelloFresh and I love it. It makes cooking fun, easy, and it's affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit delivered straight to your door. And you might not know that they actually have seasonal recipes. Right now, since it's summer, they have their new fresh and fit summer menu. So if you're trying to get that beach bud, but you're also trying to eat really great tasting food, it's perfect for you. Right now, it's peak time for summer produce and HelloFresh makes sure you get all the best picks all season long. Their ingredients travel from the farm to your door in less than seven days 
difference or quality you can taste. If you are trying to impress your friends this summer by doing some cooking for them, HelloFresh makes it super simple. They give you all of the ingredients and tell you exactly how to make each meal. And the best part is right now, if you go to HelloFresh.com slash Cosmic 50, you can use code Cosmic 50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Cosmic 50 and use code Cosmic 50 for 50% off plus free shipping. So Marvel Studios wanted Adam Driver to play Reed Richards and he turned it down. And from what we've heard, they wanted Margot Robbie to play Sue Storm. However, she turned it down as well. And based off of what we know, she turned it down because of money. She apparently wanted a lot of money, which is perfectly understandable. She is Harley Quinn, she is Barbie, and she's been a star and if not a part of the main cast of many huge films. Margot Robbie is a superstar, but movies only have a certain amount in their budget. So sometimes it doesn't work out. This is apparently what what happened with Margot Robbie. However, their other choice, Vanessa Kirby, has apparently accepted the role according to some insiders. Now, take that with a grain of salt because some insiders also said that it was pretty much a done deal with Adam Driver that he was going to be playing Mr. Fantastic and of course, he ended up not. Now, they didn't ever say he was Mr. Fantastic, they just said that it was pretty much complete. The same thing is basically being said for Vanessa Kirby. What's being said is Marvel has offered her the role and that she has actually accepted it. And her and Jodie Comer were actually my first picks for Sue Storm. I think she will do an amazing job. She's getting a lot bigger recently thanks to the Mission Impossible franchise, and she's a great actress, but go ahead and let us know what you think about this choice in the comments down below. Now, as far as what we know about the plot of the Fantastic Four, Kevin Feige has come out and stated that this is not going to be the typical origin story of the Fantastic Four that we know and that we have seen. Is the origin going to be the same? Sure, but are we going to see that on screen? Doesn't look like it. Why? Kevin Feige says we've seen it before. This is exactly what they did with Spider-Man Homecoming. We never saw Peter Parker get bit by the radioactive spider. We never saw Uncle Ben die. And why? According to Kevin Feige, because we have seen it many times before. And that's pretty much how he feels about the Fantastic Four. We've seen it on screen a few times already. Most people know how the Fantastic Four get their powers. And for those who watch and may not know, I'm sure they're going to talk about it. Just to say, hey, remember when we were, you know, in space and got powers? Or simply maybe some news reporters will talk about it because that's one of the cool things about the Fantastic Four. Everybody knows who they are. So no true origin story. We've also heard that they are going to be parents already when we meet them in their first film. Now, this is big if it's true because their son, Franklin Richards, goes on to become one of the most powerful mutants, if not the most powerful mutant we have ever seen in Marvel history, an Omega level mutant, a mutant who literally controlled Galactus, basically made Galactus his puppet. So if this is true, it's a pretty big setup. And the other thing that we know is actually what is going to connect the Fantastic Four to everything else that is going on. Because right now we have no idea what the Fantastic Four have been up to. We have no idea who they know. Reed Richards is a scientist and the smartest man alive. It would make sense that he would know Tony Stark. However, in the entirety of the MCU, there haven't been any Easter eggs or hints that Mr. Fantastic could possibly exist somewhere in the MCU. Basically, the only thing we've really gotten is Doctor Strange traveling to another universe, meeting the Illuminati and meeting the Reed Richards of that universe. But still in our main Earth 818 universe, no mention, no hints whatsoever of the Fantastic Four. But what's going to connect them to everything that is going to be happening in Secret Wars is one, of course, Reed Richards is the smartest man alive and a superhero. He should just simply be involved in this because, well, you should want him involved. And two, he is going to have knowledge of incursions and the multiverse that will help fight against Kang and perhaps repair the broken multiverse. That is actually what happens in the Secret Wars comics. Reed Richards is the one to restore the multiverse. And I wouldn't be surprised if that is exactly what happens in the MCU. After the destruction and damage is all done, Reed Richards finds a way to restore everything. Now, who knows what that will be like after Secret Wars, and perhaps Marvel will take this opportunity to introduce the mutants in a very particular way, maybe one that we haven't seen before. But regardless of what they do, it's going to put the Fantastic Four and Reed Richards Richards on the map to be the next huge main characters of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So the Fantastic Four are clearly and obviously going to be extremely important, and the cast of the Fantastic Four is going to be 
equally as important. We want the right cast for this amazing team, and they're going to be the Fantastic Four team in the MCU for the next 10 years, maybe even more. They're not here for just a few years or a short period of time. This is a commitment. They're here for the long run. So we need an amazing cast, and it looks like Marvel Studios is taking that pretty seriously. And hopefully whoever they get to play Mr. Fantastic is going to be a great fit. Right now, we've heard Ryan Gosling could possibly be up for the role. We've heard Matt Smith could possibly be up for the role. Right now it's unclear, but if we hear anything concrete, we'll be sure to do an update video. In the meantime, let us know what you think about Vanessa Kirby and let us know who you would like to play Mr. Fantastic and what do you think of the plot? We'll announce our giveaway winner this week, but we're also starting a new monthly giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. All you gotta do is subscribe and leave a comment down below. We pick one winner at the end of each month and the winner picks one prize. You can also find us on Patreon. You can check out our website and Discord server and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.